terms of pivotal nights in the history of the UFC and, of course, the history of the sport itself, UFC Fight Night Dublin, it's got to be right up there, you know? This was Conor McGregor's coming home party. This is the UFC, and we have the world watching! It's the first time the Octagon had been in the Irish capital for five years. More than that, it was the moment that Conor McGregor dragged the UFC back to Dublin. It was a phenomenal moment, not only for him, but all of Irish MMA. UFC first came to Dublin, UFC 93 in 2009, five years before Conor McGregor would make that walk. His teammate Tom Egan was actually on the card that night. I guess this is an official welcome to Dublin. This entire place of thousands of people is going nuts for him. Conor McGregor, up in the cheap seats, he made a mental note that night. He knew that the guy he trains alongside is now inside the UFC. Suddenly, Conor's dream of getting in the UFC was achievable. And of course, he was the one that made that dream a reality. A lot of people have been talking about Conor McGregor for a long time, and we're gonna find out if he's the real deal. Conor McGregor's start in the UFC was a punch perfect. The UFC knew what potential they had. All he needed was the opportunity to show the world what he's all about. This place is on its feet. This is something unusual. This kid's got something. Conor McGregor with a dominant performance here tonight against Max Holloway. If they got an event in the OTO, it would sell out in seconds. I'm hoping to drag them back to Ireland, you know what I mean? Drag them by the scruff of the neck back and get, get a show on. It's not just me. There's a whole, whole load behind me waiting to go on. I'm just going to kick in the door and drag them right back to Ireland. The key to unlocking Ireland, the potential was always there, the fan base was always there. But what Ireland lacked was a superstar, a headline act. That's what they got with Conor McGregor. They're headed over to Dublin, and it's a local boy done good who will be headlining. Conor McGregor will square off against Cole Miller in mid-July. Cole Miller was really the first guy to call out Conor McGregor, so it made perfect sense. I don't know what's up with these European players in either. Ralph Pearson couldn't beat me. Andy O couldn't beat me. Dennis Seaver can't beat me. And you know what? Neither can Colin McGoober. So bring it. Probably his first real trash talk rival. And he ate Cole Miller alive. You know my name, yeah? I'm going to make you say now. my name. I am no. going to break you. You're too slow. You're slubby. You're, gonna be You're less agile. You're gonna be I love right. it. Ultimately, it wasn't to be. The featherweight belt between Conor McGregor and Cole Miller is off. Miller has been replaced by Diego Brandao to meet McGregor in that night's main event. It didn't matter who the opponent was that night. It made no difference whatsoever. It wasn't about the opponent. This was about Conor McGregor. That stage with SBG, they were sleeping giants. You could tell there was something a little bit special going on, led by John Cavanagh, of course. Let's go. This was their reward. It wasn't just about the guy in the main event. This was Irish MMA coming together and having their moments. Well, how big a deal is it for you to be fighting in the main event at home? It's a dream come true, you know. I, when I first made my debut, I said I, a dream of mine was to come and drag the, drag the UFC back by the screw of the neck to my hometown and get, get my teammates on. Now it's upon us. This event was taking a life of its own, man. Everybody's talking about UFC Dublin all over the world. The atmosphere at Jordan Fight Week in Dublin didn't feel like a fight night event. It felt massive. All the American media flew over as well. That's not something we see in Europe all the time. Some of you guys glad you paid your own way over here this time. I mean, have you ever seen anything like it? No. It's insane. Everybody was there. Everybody wanted to be a part of this moment. Fans, they just wanted to drink it in. Merchandise stalls were wiped out clean. You couldn't buy a T-shirt at UFC Fight Night Dublin. This was going to be the hottest ticket the UFC had sold in Europe for a long time. We're on terrestrial TV. The whole of the country is going to shut down. This is Ireland's World Cup final. I remember turning up at the weigh-ins and just looking around the sea of people. Paddy walks out for the very first fight. The place goes absolutely bonkers. And of course, Connor comes out. That famous pose now, which he's well known for. Then he does the face-to-face -face with Brandao. I don't think many people in Dublin slept that night. 
The anticipation from the next day was just so high. Every featherweight head I'm coming for. Tomorrow I take his head clean off. We were hours away then from what was going to be an incredible night. Welcome to the Emerald Isle for UFC Fight Night, McGregor versus Brandao. The amount of pressure on Conor McGregor's shoulders. He brought the UFC back to his hometown. He'd made sure the card was packed with his own teammates and own countrymen. Tickets had sold out in seconds. Finally, the world was at the door to say, OK, how good is this kid? Let's see how good he actually is. We are broadcasting live from the O2 in Dublin before a record sellout crowd. The atmosphere was just absolutely incredible. First fight, Paddy Holohan walks out, the place is absolutely bouncing. Wow, first fight of the card, ladies and gentlemen. You don't normally hear a reaction like that. He's got to deliver. He delivers. Oh, oh this huge uppercut there. And there's a tap. Patrick Holohan, what a fantastic way to kick off proceedings. The atmosphere goes up a notch. Cathal Pendred comes out, gets dropped early in the fight. Oh, but he's got oh, Anywhere else in the world, I don't think he gets through that fight. But the crowd got behind him. Pendred underneath the chin of Mike King. He goes this for a short choke. He's out. Mike King is out. Go on, Pendred. Come from behind him, Devlin. With his victory, it notches up again in the Elseri. He gets a win, too. As we rolled into the main card, it was phenomenal. Norman Park comes out from Northern Ireland. Then it's all over. Norman Park is victorious in Dublin. The co-main event, Gunny Nelson. Listen, we know he's Icelandic, but the guy's pretty much an honorary Irishman. He gets a submission performance. Of course he does. The dream was on. You were kind of thinking, this is going to happen. They're going to get a clean sweep of Irish wins here. Then we got the win walk for the main event. And just listen to the soundtrack of this Dublin crowd. Still makes the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. Everybody's on their feet. The atmosphere's electric. The UFC could have sold this place out twice in double quick time. All I could hear was every single person in that arena screaming and shouting and singing at the top of their voices. Fighting out of Dublin! Ireland! The Notorious! Conor McGregor! We'd already had this incredible night, these incredible performances. It was all leading to this moment, and you really felt that emotion. Wow, here it is, the main event of the evening. I remember sitting ringside, and I had no doubt in my mind Conor McGregor was going to win. The narrative of the night was set. The script was written long before the ring walks even took place. You knew Conor was going to smash him up. You knew Conor was going to get the finish. You knew this place was going to go absolutely bonkers. Big left. Right now, looks hard. This could be the end. This could be a stoppage. Another first round for McGregor. This could be it. When that finishing punch landed, it was like a ripple effect through the entire arena. He gets the knockout victory that he was looking for. Yeah, I don't know many Irishmen that like to spill their ale, but on that night, they all threw their ale everywhere in celebration. The roof has been lifted off of the O2 here in Dublin as McGregor wears his tricolour with pride. Post fight comes out with the now iconic phrase. My goodness, if he didn't have those Irish fans eating out the palm of his hand until that point, he sure did afterwards. Irish MMA was ready to take on the world. This event was very much ground zero for the green wave. This travelling support of Irishmen were willing to go anywhere in the world to support their fighters. But it wasn't just Conor McGregor. Ireland as a nation wanted to take on Planet MMA. Ireland, baby, we did it! Yeah! 
Today, Conor McGregor is the biggest star mixed martial arts has ever seen. UFC Fight Night Dublin, that's where it all began. That's where he got the big finish. That's where the fan base got behind him. It was all born that night in Dublin.